for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. I expect good sportsmanlike conduct. Remember, these punches here are low. Up here, they're good. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. All right, let's clean it up. Ruiz, one look at Holyfield. Different referee and judges from the first fight. You'll recall at the start of the original fight, Holyfield seemed surprised when Ruiz came out so fast. He spent the opening seconds fending Ruiz off. Interesting to see if Holyfield tries to get the jump on Ruiz here in the rematch. We're still not fully convinced of Ruiz's chin. He looks like he's ready to sprint out. If Holyfield is busier, lands cleanly, especially with the big right, it could be a short night. Here we go. Holyfield Ruiz to hold up. Right away. What them hands inside? Some roughhouse tactics. I think Evander Holyfield's going to try and unload at least one or two good shots early and let John Ruiz know this is an all new and improved, brand new, real deal. There's a stiff left jab by Evander Holyfield as he stuffed it effectively. That is not a knockdown. He was pulled down by uh, Holyfield. We seem to be picking up where we left off with all the pushing and grabbing and pulling. You're going to notice John Ruiz is going to try and work his way in. He's not smothering his punches quite the same way he did last time, but he's still looking to get inside Holyfield's power range. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go, guys. We're all tactics, guys. Ruiz thought he, he drifted from his game plan of the first fight. He doesn't want to slump with Holyfield. He wants to stay on the outside. Hey, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Now, a quick early conference. You control now, okay? No real tactics. Cortez wants to take charge. Ruiz just missing with that right hand. You notice John Ruiz worked his way all the way in and then held. Evander did tie him up. He tied up Evander. He's still worried about the shots coming back. Holyfield working the jab. Right hand by Ruiz. Ruiz looking very confident. All right, let him out. Let him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Let him out. Something Evander said he wasn't going to do this time is wait. And he's still waiting quite a bit. And he's not getting up first. Pretty good right hand of the jaw bring up, bring up, bring up, by bring Ruiz. Up. Evander countered with a nice right hand, too. Right now, John's got the lead. A little more active. Not working Evander right now, but this is very, very early. Ruiz pushing Holyfield back, which is a good thing to do. That was one of your keys to victory. John Ruiz does not fight well going backwards and against a sharp shooter like Evander. That would be right, break. death. Break out, Lee. Break out. Okay. Joe Cortez has been a busy man here in the opening round. 130 seconds. This fight is going to be a lot of punching, a lot of holding on inside. Oh, Trust me, Steve. Break out, break out, on the inside, Ruiz is going to tie Holyfield up every chance he gets. And some holding and hitting by both the fighters. Here's a good left jab by Ruiz as he stuffed it in. All right, hold, 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 when he starts rushing, you got to bump him. Okay. Feigning, make him rush, step to the side and punch combination. Okay. That's all you have to do is put three, four punches at a time and win the ball. Get back quick. And forever break, right? Get back quick. A little water. Keep your hands up. Johnny. Keep banging the jab. Keep going. Sign a county over the all top of that time. jab. I mean, the right Keep hand. Going. You got to change up. Down low, up high. You're falling in again. It's not a fall. You're right. Don't fall. Falling Use your jab. In. Jab and move. Keep, your Come on, move. Keep punching. Keep punching, Johnny. Holyfield was disgusted with himself after the first bite because he, he wanted to end it on one punch. He didn't throw enough for combinations. And let's see what he does here. Don Turner just reminded him. Look, set him up. Two, three at a time. Two, three, four. Let him flow. <laughs> Round two.
lot of movement by both. Each looking for the little opening. Louise continues to stop the jab, but we haven't seen him follow it up yet. A little abrasion underneath the left eye of Ruiz already. Body shot with the left by Holyfield. Well, if you'll start a counter now, starting to react, throwing two or three backs to the one. John's still pressing, got a lot of energy. Man, they're very, very experienced in the big room. Ruiz weighs 10 pounds more. Ruiz already underneath the left eye. It's beginning to blow up. You notice that? Nice double left hook by Holyfield, body and head, and a right hand to the temple. All right, bring up, bring up, please, bring up. Bring up, bring up. That left eye could be a developing problem for Ruiz. It's a nice right hand, I believe. I saw one, and that eye is swelling quick. Could have been a clash of heads, but I didn't see it. it may have been the result of a punch. Right, break out, break out. Him out. Him out. Halfway through round two. A lot of head movement by Ruiz. All right, break out, break out, break out. John Reese's corner said you're falling in. He leans forward like that, he falls in. That's dangerous for both fighters in the head category. He's pushing Holyfield back, swarming. Straight right hand on the head by Ruiz. And then Holyfield just drags him into the ropes. Another right hand that was blocked by Holyfield. He's trying to smother Holyfield's punches. Get off and smother. Get off and smother. I don't know how long Holyfield will let this happen, but that's how I thought he got out of hustle and now worked in the first fight, first fight. Yet Holyfield seems to be waiting too long, which was the case in the first fight. Under 30 seconds, round two. It's a better round for Holyfield, though. He's landed some good counter combinations. John's still taking the fight to him. Effective jab by Ruiz, and then he lands with the right. It's been Ruiz who's been getting off first. Tugging by Holyfield as he's holding on to Ruiz, pulling him along. That left eye looks really bad for Ruiz. Good left-right combination of the head, by the way, a left hook by Ruiz at the bell. Do what you gotta do, he got a bad eye. Give him some. Johnny, box him, baby. Box him, Johnny. Hey, let me get this. This is the most important thing right now. Ruiz out working if you're getting the better of him until that uppercut comes in and really lands right on that eye. There's a nice uppercut also by Ruiz. Seconds up. Seconds up. Super slow mo. Again, John Ruiz just trying to outwork Holyfield. That uppercut started to change things. But Evander is hitting one of those uppercuts as well. I think Ruiz, as in the first fight, is outworking Holyfield. Get it on top. Get him up. Get him up. In around three. Holyfield digging to the body with the left hand. Well, break out. Break out clean. Break out clean. And the end fighting. Ruiz tries to smother Holyfield's punch. Right, on, don't be holding, don't be holding, don't be holding. Right, I'm out, I'm out, though, on the inside, Holyfield's getting free. And Ruiz is allowing him some leverage. Evander's not got the timing yet. John get Ruiz is get ducking in, cutting the get distance out. in half stop, stop. so that on, Ruiz is inside the power zone where Holyfield's punches are going to lose some of the starch. <laughs> See, as that right hand starts hitting, it's already off to the side by his shoulder. He's inside the power zone. Norm Stone worked feverishly on that clean, welt clean, underneath clean. Clean. the left eye of Ruiz with the end swell. Let's go to Jim Bray for a report on 
Ruiz is on. All right, Steve, uh, Dr. Berliner, one of the attending ring physicians here, looked at Ruiz's eye in between rounds. He says it's swelling pretty quickly. It's about ready to close. There's not a whole lot of vision, even at this point, even though it appears to still be open. He's concerned as the fight goes on that it will be a major concern for John Ruiz, and he will monitor it every round. Steve? Thank you, Jim. It would be a shame if the fight came to a conclusion because of the eye. Well, I'll tell you, Ruiz complained about something near Joe Cortez. It was a low blow. I didn't see it. And then Joe Cortez, combination after that happened, said to Vander, keep him up a little bit. Vander needs to work him behind the jab. He's not using the jab enough. There it is. There it is. On cue. Ruiz with a body shot right on the belt with the left hand. But he didn't follow up. Holyfield doubling up on the jab. Ruiz going to the body. Bring out, bring out, bring out. But Ruiz not doing what he said he wanted to do more of. And that is move around the ring, fight from the outside. Don't slug it out with Holyfield. Jab more and throw more combinations. Now, John Ruiz fight, cannot fight backwards. He has to stop and come forward. He doesn't fight going backwards. Vander is a better fighter going backwards come on. than Ruiz. Come on. You can work out of that. You can work. Ruiz tying Holyfield up here. And then winging with a left cup but a grazing blow. Holyfield's getting mad now. And so is Ruiz. Yeah, but Ruiz is not getting the better. He's inside fighting confrontation, Steve. Got the crowd on its feet. Give me the inch swell. Come on, Kate, but you pull it. No, he drank this one. It's your fucking it's asshole. Your it's your hatter. Take it easy. Take it easy. You call me nothing like that. Gig, please, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. You couldn't have fucking done it, Gabe, right? Listen, no, you got to fuck. Johnny, listen. Johnny. Johnny, he's See, a fast to the game. Get back to your mark. He's walking right into your jab. But you're throwing slow punches. You got to throw fast Use punches, Use your Johnny. jab. Quick punches. Bing, bing. Combination. You got to throw fast punches, Johnny. You understand? No, come on. You want to see fighting this guy? Make fight. an easy fight, Johnny. Use your fast jab. Fast punches. Fast punches. All right? Get back with the jab. Nice quick jab. Johnny, right hand. Oh, 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 come He's on. laying the fucking left hand out. And Make him go outside of you. That's right. Okay. That's right. Let's Speed go, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Your hands are falling. Your feet. You don't have to work all night if you don't want to. Cut it. The tension coming to a boil in that Ruiz corner as Norm Stone was looking for the end swell, and he got into it there with uh, Gabe LaMarca. Round four. Tide's turning a little earlier in this fight than it did in the last. Fuck it on. Oh, 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 it was the last round of the first fight. Come here, Boyd. Rough house tactics there as they. You guys have a problem? You have a problem? All right, give me a clean fight, all right? No rough tactics. Let's go. More warnings from Joe Cortez. Remember that uh, Ruiz was wobbled toward the end of the third round of the first fight, but Holyfield couldn't finish him off. He just didn't have the energy. You know, John Ruiz keeps pulling in, right? As, as he fires in, he pulls inside. In the inside there, whether it's Holyfield's hands, oh, bring up, bring you know, the gloves, the fists, the elbows, the shoulders, the head, a lot of things are going to damage that eye. He doesn't need to be in that tight. Now, I'm a little perplexed by it as well. And I'm sure uh, Ruiz's corner is not too thrilled either. Hey, bring up, bring Ruiz up. grimacing as Holyfield went low. Holyfield looks like he's lo loading up a little too much, looking for one big shot. I mean, the double jab and right hand is nice, but he looks like he's waiting on something, and I can't understand what. Oh, there's a big right hand to the head by Ruiz. And Ruiz with a left-right combination to the head. I think I heard you say that a few times in the last fight. Not sure what he's waiting for. Watch your heads inside, guys. Watch them heads. Watch them heads. Both he's you definitely guys. been more active in this fight. This fight's not a nice uppercut. Left right uppercut hand. to the chin by Ruiz, but it was one and done. 
That left hook by Holyfield was blocked by Ruiz. Ruiz with a left hook to the head. And those shots were blocked by the arms of Ruiz. By Holyfield. Holyfield's rhythm seems to be a little off. He's missing some of the punches on the way in offensively, and he's missing blocking some defensively. And Ruiz is connecting with the right hand. With a little more regularity. Final seconds of round four. They may have banged heads and there's blood on the forehead of Ruiz. Lord Stone questioning Joe Cortez about the head oh, Come on, Stone, get the work in. What is it? Stone. That's it. Joe Cortez informing uh, Norm Stone it was accidental. Oh, shit. Come on, Joe. 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 Come on, Give me the Vaseline. Give me the Vaseline. Norm Stone thinking it's deja vu. Fucking motherfuckers. We're going to take a look at that accidental headbutt. Seconds out. There it is. That's clearly accidental. There's no way you can save Andrew did it on purpose. He's, just du he's ducking to try and fire an uppercut counter, and they just bang heads. I think it was accidental, too. I think Cortez was right. That's a, that's a very good call. So it's down round five. And things are getting a little dicey now for John Ruiz, who has the swelling under the left eye and the uh, headbutt to deal with with blood on the forehead. And that blood could be coming into the eye area, into the eyes, obscuring his vision. He's in a bad spot, Bob. Holyfield keeping Ruiz on the, on the retreat. John can't fight going backwards. He's getting through with that left hand on the inside, working the body and the jaw. Ruiz backing up, which is not what he wants to be doing. Ruiz, his face getting bloodier and bloodier as the round goes on. And that blood has nothing to do with the butt. That has to do with that uppercut on the inside and Evander through. He was working well on the inside with it. The blood streaking down Ruiz's nose. Press row scoring. Gerard Fernandez has it even. And Rafael and Steve Springer have Ruiz ahead at this juncture. I have it even myself. But Ruiz certainly looking the worst for wear. But he may he may be ahead. This round is Holyfield's clean though. Look at all the blood. And Holyfield's where oh! Big left hook by Van, best punch of the night. Well, that got the attention of Ruiz, who looks shaky. Midway through the fifth. Holyfield really loading up now. I was just going to say, Steve, he's loading up one at a time. It's not it. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ruiz sticking the jab. And then again, smothering Holyfield. Always too strong for John this time. Crowd chanting for Holyfield. Fight. John Ruiz, the man coming forward. Now it's reversed. Ruiz's face is a mess. But he just keeps coming forward. He is game. He's digging these twisting uppercuts to the body and jaw of Holyfield. Again, not really to his advantage to be fighting on the inside this close with the Vander Holyfield. The flurry by Holyfield. Back comes Ruiz, though, showing tremendous result. This round was pretty much advantage. John made it closer, but I don't know if he could win the round. Holyfield dominated the first two minutes so much. John is really looking the worst for wear now with that eye. And that blood, it's everywhere. He looks like the beaten fighter, but you don't know that. On the scorecards.
Get the ice on his back. I'm going to do it. Where do you have inch well? Where's I? Hey, go! Hey, 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 no, I, hey, right here. Hey, for Christ's sake! Give us a break Lama. here! Lama. Give us a break here! Cortez ignoring stuff. Come on, Johnny. Come on, baby. You're still in this fight, kid. You're still in this fight. Come on. Come on, Johnny. You big Stay in there. Stay with him. I'll fight one up that eye. Don't worry about it. Come on. Vander Holyfield gets better of John Ruiz big body shot and then the hook up top John Ruiz didn't rock really wobble that bad another look from over it didn't really wobble that bad I think the body shot right there bothered him more than the head shot and there's the good hook yeah that was a little bit more of a glancing blow than it looked like they feverishly work on the face of John Ruiz who still still comes out all bloodied round six Stone continuing to berate Joe Cortez. You know, I'm, I'm going to say this to him. It's just one of those things. John Ruiz jumps down, ducks down, comes down. Sometimes when you come down and the other fighter comes down, you're going to bang heads. That's just part of the way the game's played. Holy fail, turning it up, a right hand by Ruiz that scores. Then he holds on. See, the physical nature of this fight on the inside is John Ruiz is getting the worst of it right now. But always not out punching that significant. And the fans again rallying behind what many think is the sentimental favorite, Evander Holyfield. Some feel the man of sympathy is Ruiz after thinking he was robbed in the, the first fight. Ruiz looking for a little second win here, I believe. Evander slowing up again. I'm, I'm not quite sure. He's hesitating. I don't know if he's got. His, he's out of rhythm. He's out of sync. Well, he's pressing. He's backing Ruiz up. But he's not throwing. Now he throws. Finally, one jab, but that's it. Overhand right blocked by the left arm of Ruiz. Dicks to the body with the left. See, John can't fight going backwards. He, there's no way he can win this fight going backwards. He's got to come forward. But Evander is too strong for him this time out. All right, break out, break out, break out, Green, break out. Punches again being blocked by the arms and gloves of Ruiz. They sound good. Get him out. But not effective. Body shot and then an uppercut. Good double left by Ruiz. Holyfield countered back with left hook, but it was just one. He needed to pull more punches. That was one of the keys to just throw, use his overall skills. And a nifty right uppercut to the chin by Ruiz on the inside. There's only been one really good combination by John Ruiz in this round. He's taken a lot of the round off. There's only 40 seconds left in the round. He spent three quarters of the round backing up. Holyfield missing. on the inside working the body and that uppercut lands it nice Evander only responds with one hook back from the outside the best right hand of the round if not the fight for John Ruiz and he got he tried to steal the end of the round then Evander came back I thought Evander out working for the majority of the round very 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 close round This has really developed 
into a compelling affair. Well, the sixth round is in the books. And Don Turner wasn't exactly correct. Holyfield made some of the adjustments, not all of them, and he hasn't made them as effectively as we all anticipated he might. Turner said it wouldn't go past six unofficially. What do you see? I have it four to two for Evander, but the, you know, to round the winner close, they're not big runaways. But see, here, he's the effective aggressor this, this entire fight pretty much now. What John was in the first fight. And he's outworking John the whole first two minutes of the last round. All Evander. John had a, a spurt there, but then he advanced her into the spurt, so it's not enough to steal the round. Look, John's doing nothing. And the crowd, boom. If the round stays like this without a punch being thrown, you give it to Evander because he's coming forward. I'm not sure uh, what's in Ruiz's mind right now. He, must, he might just be exhausted. He got hit with a nice right hand just now, and I saw a little funny wobble in his leg. Yes. Maybe a delayed reaction, maybe not. And he loads up with that right hand, but that was it, one and done. He just looked up at he the clock. Up. That's not yeah. a good thing. He did look up. I just noticed that as well, Bobby. It's a bad thing when you're looking up at the clock yeah. in the seventh round. He's now counting the seconds before this thing is over. Right, because he, up, you can see up. it in his face, the punishment he has absorbed to this point. But you know that Holyfield wants to make a statement here. He doesn't want to go to the judges. He wants to knock Ruiz out. Well, he started to make some of the statement. He hasn't made all of the statement. He's not throwing the combinations again, punches well, and bunches. Every once in a while, though, Holyfield gets pushed back. And a left hook there did it by Ruiz. Ruiz being extremely deliberate here in round seven. It's as if they're in slow motion here all of a sudden. Break, break out. Ruiz so banged up. Being pushed back again by Holyfield. Side Holyfield with some tough shots to the stomach of Ruiz. There's a nice shot on the top of the head by Evander, but John reacts well. No questioning Ruiz's heart. But Ruiz, Ruiz just got staggered. He ate a big left hand. And now he tries to come back with a right of his own. But he is courageous. can barely see out of the left eye. I got it, buddy. Uh, sorry, Gabe. Sorry, don't worry about nothing. Come on, Chandler, you gotta move your hands. You're not moving your hands. He's, He's getting tired. Clock, right? get tired. He's getting tired now. You gotta move your hands. You're, doing, you're walking around doing nothing in there. They're stealing all these rounds, Johnny. Come Tony, on now. Tony, this is what he's doing. Left, left, right. Make it easy. Up. I know what you're telling, Don. He needs to boogie up and let his up. hands go. You know, everybody Let's can't go. talk in the corner. You're right. I'm talking right now. You boogie up and let your hands go, babe. Come on, Vander. Let him go. This guy's gone, babe. For purpose right now, you're going to have to do two rounds. You're going to boogie up and boogie up again. The pulls your whip. Seconds up. Holyfield Let's probably landed his best punch of the fight. That left hook right in the forehead, and you see John's leg just right there. It buckled. You couldn't see it on the screen, but it did buckle. And you can see in Ruiz's corner, they just told him, you're letting him steal all these rounds. You're not working. You're letting him steal the rounds. They know he's losing the rounds because he's not working. Same way I thought Ruiz stole the rounds from Holyfield in the first fight. It's been, it's been reversed so far. Well, let's see if Ruiz can turn it up a little bit here in round eight. It's scheduled for 12, the WBA Heavyweight Championship. The first fight was for the vacant title. Now Holyfield has it. Coming in with the head, watch out. But things have slowed to considerably. Louise has to do more. Holyfield is missing pretty badly with the right hand. His timing's off. He's not timing John's duck. John keeps leaning to the side. And Holy keeps going right over his shoulder with that right hand. We have to figure, say Mike Tyson is watching, Lennox Lewis is watching. They have to be wringing their hands looking at Holyfield. 
I don't think Lennox Lewis and Holyfield oh. three would actually sell, but it might. A left-right combination of the head by Ruiz. Tyson said he wants to fight the winner of this fight, but he's got to fight penciled in May 19th with David Izon. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's go. Half the round just about over. Very little action. Bobby, do you think Holyfield looks better or Ruiz looks worse? <laughs> A little of both. Hold it, hold it. Let's go. A little of both. Some of the defensive moves Evander's making are sharper and a little more subtle. John's not as aggressive. He's clearly not as aggressive. He's not out working Holyfield the way he did the first time, I thought. Evander's landed more. He's worked much harder on the inside. This is still not the Evander Holyfield that I think I thought was coming. Holyfield has said he'd knock out Ruiz. A lot of people thought he was going for an early KO, but it's now round eight. <laughs> Left uppercut. Oh, oh. And nice. that, uh, oh. that got into the Hold right time. eye of Holyfield as heads Hold came time. together. Good. Might be some loose tape, yeah, on the left glove of Ruiz. And uh, Holyfield winced. He got hit in the eye with the uppercut, and it kind of... Maybe stuffed his eyelashes in his eye was blinking a little bit. Right. May okay. have sort of gotten slashed by the lacing right, of Ruiz's gloves. <laughs> and a left uppercut followed by a straight left by Ruiz who's suddenly come alive. Exact same punch that he used to make him wince earlier and left uppercut. Oh, oh, oh. Ruiz suddenly with some confidence. Oh, oh, oh. Down, As Holyfield down. pulls Ruiz's head down, a tactic he used a lot of in the first fight. Final seconds of round eight. Oh, oh, oh. As Ruiz misses with the right hand before the bell. Take take what's take? Don't get excited. Sit down, Holy. I got it. I got it. Lift it up. When he moved to his right. Bump left when he moves right. A little water. Hear that? You gotta move your feet. You're letting this guy off the hook. He was able to put three rounds when you let him off the hook. You can't let him off the hook on the other side right now. Right this minute, you're gonna go to work. John Reese throws that left uppercut on the inside right there. Hits Holyfield right in the eye. You watch him see him. He blinks. He either got the eyelashes or the glove itself in his eye. It looked like a clean shot. Well, it was a clean shot, but a great he just, he just poked him in the eye. The angle got him, yeah. Let's go, seconds out. And there's a moose, a mouse, I should say, a developing. Looks like a moose under the right eye of Holyfield. He can't use moose, he has no hair. Yeah, that's right. Round nine. Break out, break out, break out clean. A mouse the size of a moose. Once again, Holyfield looking a little better than the first fight, but again, this is not the Evander Holyfield that the fans of him know and love. Well, I'll tell you, I can't help but understand, can't understand why he's not throwing the jab. I can't help but think if his corner tells him double, triple jab, and then fight the right hand to the body, this way if John leans and hits something, come up with the hooker uppercut then. Both fighters looking tired now. Nice right hand by Holyfield. Holyfield with a burst of energy. The press row scoring. Bernard Fernandez still has it even. Dan Raphael and Steve Springer have Ruiz ahead by two. I have 77-75 for Evander. I think he's carrying the fight. Most of the time. Last round I gave to Ruiz. With three rounds before that, Evander chased him around the ring and banged him. Got the better money inside. In fighting is hard to see from press row sometimes. I'm lucky and fortunate that I know the game, but it's right here in our face. Right, stop, if it stop, ended stop, now, stop. Ruiz would win by majority decision. Midway through the night, scheduled for 12. Holyfield missing right, with the left hook. He's just slow to react to Holyfield's telegraphing the punches. Oh, 
Ruiz, the right uppercut with a powering right hand by Holyfield. Morgan hit him with a nice left hook on the way back, and now he's sensing something. He rocked and rolled on him, but he missed him. You see him coming, he senses that John's a little staggering here. And his other eye looks cut, too. Ruiz may be shaky here. Go hold ahead, go hold ahead. And he's trying to hold on. Hold oh, that was a beautiful left uppercut on the side, too. Ru Ruiz really taking a lot here now. His legs are getting a little rubbery, too. You can see he's a little tired, but they're not sturdy. Ruiz on very wobbly legs. Break out, break out, break out, man. Break out, break out, man. Face is really looking ugly. Oh, there, the way is battered. Blood everywhere. Battered and bruised. Another uppercut by Holyfield. Yep. And he backs Ruiz up. Holyfield oh, continues oh, to score. Oh, big body shot. Double hook. Countering shots by Holyfield. Ruiz absorbing a tremendous amount of punishment here in round nine. Happy to hear the bell. Right. Hey, Joe, you want to be ashamed of yourself? It's okay, Ten minutes, we can do it. We can do it, baby. I'm telling you, we can do it, Gabe. Let me get both of them. Relax, relax. Sonny, he's, he's laying the jab. Laying the jab. Yo, come on, do something. Do your job. Wake up. Somebody take the water. I'm going to do the take. Vander Holyfield gets the better of it on the inside. There's the nice right hand. And as they go on the inside, Holy hits him with that left hook, busts that other eye open. That punch was one that seemed to make his legs get a little unsteady for a while. Here's John Ruiz holding on. But that eye came out of that exchange worse. Later on, there's a nice right uppercut. But then right, Vander counters with the left hook. And again, he's pressing and he's winning the combinations. He's winning the contact. So far, it's better, but it's still not the better Holyfield. I thought I'd see. As mentioned earlier, different judges from the first fight, and you wonder if the judges will overcompensate because of what happened in that first fight. Being well aware, the judges here are Chuck Giampa, Patricia Jarman, Manning from Vegas, and Stanley Christodoulou from South Africa. All right, stop. Break. Bring up. Bring up. Bring up. Round ten. <laughs> You see John Ruiz now almost never coming forward, waiting on Evander, waiting on Evander. That's not John's fight. I can't help but think that maybe he's hurt or tired, something's wrong, that he's not fighting his fight. Our online scoring is so heavy tonight that we've had sort of a crash in the online area, so uh, we have to hold off on uh, providing it with those scores. Heavy right hand. That was a right hand. That was. Yeah, that was good. Ruiz is claiming it was behind the head, but it looked pretty good. It was right in the ear. I didn't understand that one. He hit him right in the ear. Look how red his ear is. Bring out, bring out, bring out. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't think the first fight was a great fight. I don't think this fight's a great fight. Vander clearly looks better and sharper. He's getting hit less. John Ruiz is absorbing a lot more punishment than he did in the first fight. Constantly going backwards. I can't understand why he's going backwards so much. Right, bring, bring out, holding on an awful lot. The first half of the fight wasn't uh, bad. There was some uh, dramatic stuff there, but it has really uh, come to a halt here. And uh, there goes Ruiz. Low blow. Uh, as the result of a low blow. Low blow, low blow. One point. He took a point from Evander. One point, low blow. He's got five minutes One point, low blow. to recover, and if he doesn't, he loses. Okay. You know the sad part Please, about that okay. move? You decide to set up, Hope, Ruiz. Okay, Ruiz. Ruiz, you got to five minutes. From the looks of things, he's going to make use of those five. That's five minutes. I find it to be an odd rule, though. It could be serious damage, and that won't let you run him, run him walk in five minutes. Never mind, fight. Just 
slowly getting to his feet. He's got five minutes. Five minutes to walk it off. Evander. 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 Evander, get in that corner. Get in that corner. Got about four minutes left now, or else he uh, point. automatically he loses. It's not only the low blow, look at his face. Look under the left eye, over, over the nose. He's gotten hit hard in the ears. Uh, of course, uh, he claims he had a broken eardrum in the first you fight. Can, you, you can walk it off. You, got, you, got, you can walk it off. Well, I tell you what, uh, Bobby, if he comes back and I'm continues to fight after this yeah, uh, scenario, nobody can yeah. question Ruiz's heart. Oh, I clearly think that he's got heart. He's shown his bravery in the past. And this is just Still one of those three more minutes. ugly situations. He's got about three minutes. But I'll tell you right now, all things being equal, if I'm a Vander Holyfield, I jump on him. Blood dripping from his nose and his forehead. Holyfield and Ruiz's trainer, Norm Stone, exchanging words. Still got two minutes. I bet you that we're not all nice. No. Ruiz now trying I'm to slowly to walk it off. Holyfield gazing into the crowd, meantime. How many, got? How many time we got left? Two minutes and 40 seconds left. And then Ruiz has to continue fighting. Evander Holyfield right above us, just looking down very quietly, almost uh, introspectively. All right, you ready? You ready? All right, All right Ruiz in. had about two minutes left. Time in. And so he needed about uh, three minutes to recover. Here we go. Let's see if Holyfield jumps on him now when he's got Ruiz in some trouble, which he didn't do in the first fight. Well, he's making more of an effort already. Four punch combination, right, nice shot to the body. He's not got his rhythm down. He's not got his timing. He's completely right yet. Oh, oh low blow by Ruiz. The left hand was below the belt by John Ruiz. That one was way south of the quarter. Let's go. Way. Let's go. He really didn't hurt uh, Holyfield. Oh, no. bring up, bring up, bring up. That one, that one went upward to hit the low blow. <laughs> so some retaliation by Ruiz. Oh, stop, stop, just stop, about stop. had it with see, Holyfield. Now, see now, here's a round I thought Holyfield won, but because of the low blow, it's an even round. Side. Evander's right, winning right, the inside. John keeps consistently out. trying to tie him up. Evander's too strong for him on the inside. All right, time. Johnny, Johnny, you ever get a say in championship rounds? This is it, baby. This is it. This is it. You're not going to get any more breaks. Give me some water, boy, over here. John, you're not gonna get any more breaks. Jab and move, jab and move. Give me every inch of fucking energy you got, baby. Come on, you're gonna be the first Dolcino in the world. Come on, baby, you want it? Second Come on, Johnny. Fight. You're gonna fight, you gotta fight, champ. Don't fight him, Johnny, just box him. Move your hands, come on. That's what it's all about, Johnny. Go in there and move your hands. You be... Holyfield starts the Lobo action. South of the border, and then a nice left hook to the jaw. I think the shot to the jaw are worse than the low blow. Accidental retaliation, maybe, but that one was low. That one was way low. Norm Stone is leading with John Ruiz as we enter the championship rounds. In fact, there was a difference of opinion there in that round. Gabe Lamarca going, fight him, fight him. And oh, Stone says, no, box him, box him. Jab and move more. Just walked into a three-punch combination. Oh, up, up, He's up, just diving up, into Holyfield and holding on now. He's not fighting. And that's detrimental in the scoring. A championship fight that has lapsed into a battle of head clashing elbows and low blows. Down goes Holyfield. Early in round 11, Holyfield down and he's bloody. They bang heads, Steve. I don't know if we got that on. But they bang the heads and then Ruiz hit him. Down for the fifth time in his career. And he's got a long way to go in round 11. Ruiz trying to jump on him. And the rough house tactics, obvious by Holyfield as he tries to drag Ruiz to the canvas. 
Let's go. Let's go. It has developed into a wild one. Again, Ruiz jumping on Holyfield. Holyfield's in trouble. He's coming this way now. And they almost came through the ropes in our left. Holyfield stumbling and bumping around. Ruiz is trying to knock him out. Evander is out on his feet, Steve. He absolutely cannot get his legs under. slamming each other. I thought I saw a head. If not, no, it was just a good right hand. Ruiz caught him with a good right hand and Holy hit the deck. He stayed hurt. There it is. A shot to the temple, Steve. Pure and simple. I scored that round 10-7 for Ruiz, which brings my scorecard dead even. He took up all the slack that Holyfield worked in the middle round. So here we go. As they touch gloves, this could be the deciding round, the 12th and final round for the title. Does the 38-year-old Evander Holyfield have enough left after getting hit pillar to post in the 11th? This should be a very interesting round. Holy with the stronger punches right now, Steve. Holyfield blinking repeatedly. The battered face of John Ruiz right in front of him. Two minutes to go on the 12th. Bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up here. Bring up, bring up, let's go. Holyfield made the stoppage here to win the fight. I'll tell you what, Steve, on my scorecard, whoever wins the last round wins the fight. Oh, yeah, I've worked a lot to me, but I had that last round, three points, 10-7. That was huge for John Ruiz. Halfway through the 12th, Ruiz again, pouring it on. He's not really leaning too much there, though. Oh, he's just ducked under. Not real effective. Less than half the round is left. We come up on the final minute of the fight. And his left eye is bleeding too. The left 
dive, Holyfield looking very bad. Straight right hand to the head by Ruiz. Holyfield blocked that. You can see him. He telegraphed that too. He held his hand out. I saw that one coming. He didn't see that jab coming. Bring up, bring up, he did. He likes up. the taste of it because bring he up, ate that one flush. Come on, man. Be scoring this fight. Repeat or redemption, I said before. I think we may have repeat, and there is no redemption. Overhand right by Ruiz. Series of punches by Ruiz with 15 seconds to go in the fight. Let's see who finishes the stronger of the two. Two exhausted, bruised fighters. dramatic in the first part of the fight and at the end but kind of sluggish in the middle you'll recall they didn't embrace at all after the first fight they embrace now we well, embrace now because i do believe that john Ruiz thinks he's got this in a bag and i have a funny feeling they wouldn't embrace so readily if he gets robbed again <laughs> you got a pretty good point Tremendous job in the corner come on, come on. by John Ruiz's people. Unbelievable, really, when you think about it, how they kept inspiring him and urging him on, particularly in that 11th round. He said, you know what they call this? The championship rounds, and, and Ruiz rose to the occasion. Incredible coaching in the corner of Ruiz, win or lose. Well, you know what, Steve, I'll put it to you this way. I think John Ruiz is going to get this decision just because of the first fight. But I remember toward the end of my career thinking to myself, punches that weren't supposed to hurt, hurt. We see Van, it's time to get out. Well, I think Jimmy Lennon Jr. is ready with the decision. So let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Patricia Jarman Manning, scores about 114 to 111. Judge Chuck Jumper scores about 115 to 111. Judge Stanley Christodoulou sees about 116 to 110. Ball three in favor of the winner and the new heavyweight champion of the world, El Primer Campeón Latino de Peso Completo. defeat from the first meeting. He sucked it up in the championship round, Stephen. That's what one and four, him. Two and three point rounds there. I had him behind by a couple of points. He catapulted in front. He closed it out in the 12th round, showing what he's made of. You know what? He's a real nice guy. 
unanimous decision for the first fighter of Latino descent to win a share of the heavyweight title. Look at the emotion being displayed here. Meanwhile, Evander Holyfield gave no indication he'd retire even if he lost. And tonight, he did. So could we have a Ruiz Holyfield three? We'll be fighting out shortly.